Hey everyone, this is Fix Reeve, and today we have an Apex 2016 uh, head unit in for repair. So this head unit came in as part of a multi-unit uh, order that uh, uh, started as a water damaged issue. And the EBA 32 got water damaged, um, and uh, everything was connected to it. EBA 32 got damaged. Uh, it looks like the head unit got damaged, and a few other uh, components as well. So, but this specific unit came in with an issue that it can no longer communicate with other modules. I haven't had um, a video on the head unit repair yet, so I might as well go ahead and, uh, and show you guys how, um, how to do this and what's involved. So uh, before I even attempt to plug it in, I'm going to take it apart, uh, make sure that there is no um, corrosion inside, and, um, and then we'll continue with the testing. Okay, so inside the head unit looks like this sandwich of uh, three different boards. This is a full Apex uh, head unit. There is also a version that does not have these additional ports. So the, um, the gray version of this unit comes with only the two boards up at the top. Uh, let's see what else is interesting here. Uh, many of you asked uh, what... Um, well, many of you have issues with Wi-Fi. Let me show you the implementation of Wi-Fi on the Apex um, head unit. You can see the Wi-Fi is essentially just a USB Wi-Fi dongle. Um, what is it? 802N? 802.11N? It's all what it is. This is not particularly the most... Um, high quality item. Other than that, everything seems fairly intact. Um, and I'm not going to even take any additional, anything additional here off. Now, you do need, you cannot just have one board, although it's got the power connector and the aqua bus ports by itself, or well, I guess the reset button as well, but by itself it's not going to work. It needs to have the second board, which has the main controller here, um, which is an ARM something or other, and, um, you know, the network port, uh, Wi-Fi, of course, and a few other basic connectors. So, um, so what I will do is I'm going to put it back together, um, partially, anyhow, anyway, and I'm going to attempt to plug it in and verify that the problem is that it's not communicating with any other devices, or it's not um, capable of communicating with anything else. Let's give it the LED output so that I can see what's going on. Okay. So the easiest way to test the functionality of the Aquabus, uh, which is claimed to be a problem, uh, is to just use one of those display uh, displays. If the and of course I will need some <clears throat> to provide some power. In other words, if the um, display comes on and I can control the uh, the head unit through this display, I should be okay. And if not, then there is a problem. So first, let's plug it in and see if any LEDs turn on. All right. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but. Um, Yes, it's switching from orange to green. So far, so good. Now let's plug in. Let's plug in the display. The display is on, at least the power is on, indicating that the power, or the 12 volt power over Aquabus is actually conducting well. But as you can see, there is absolutely no, um, nothing on the display itself. So this indicates that the problem is likely with 
the CAN transceiver. Or let's hope that the problem is with the CAN transceiver. So let's find that CAN transceiver on the head unit. Let's attempt to repla replace it and see if that fixes the problem. All right, for this, I'm going to disconnect the top board. Um, the Aquabus ports are here, which is likely an indication that one of these controllers is going to be the Aquabus uh, CAN transceiver, uh, which is likely this unit over here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yep. So this is the MAX 3059. Let's see if you can read this. Max 3059, this is the old 5 volt uh, CAN transceiver that is no longer used on newer units, which all use 3.3 volt uh, different manufacturers, but this is an old one. That's the type of transceiver that you will find on, um, uh, on the old Apex Classic units, on the EB8s, on, uh, for that matter, the, um, the display adapters, and so on and so forth. So my current main suspect is that max transceiver. So let's get the replacement for this and we'll swap it out. All right, so this is my parts box. Let's grab one of these guys. Now let's get under the microscope and uh, swap out that controller. All right. So a bit of flux. And the hot air to replace. All right, now that the, um, the controller is out, let's clean everything up. Okay, this looks pretty good, fairly clean. Let's add some fresh solder. Some flux. And now we can put the new unit in. All right. We just swap the CAN transceiver on this board. Take a look. Nice and clean. All of the joints are very solid. Um, looks uh, looks brand new. Uh, now let's plug it in, see if it actually helped anything.
All right, so here's our display. Um, let's um, plug it in. And let's plug in the display. Oh, and look at this. The display is working. Perfect. Okay, so this was a fairly straightforward repair. Um, let me just explain what happened, what I think has happened anyhow. The EB-832 got water damaged. This unit is clearly not water damaged. There is nothing wrong with this unit. But the, the EB-832 got water damaged. EB-832 is the one that powers everything on the um, Apex, in the Apex system over the Sacquabar sports. Right? So not only the data, but also the power comes through the Sacquabar sports. When EB-832 got uh, shorted due to the water damage, it also shorts the um, communication pins on the aqua bus ports, which are connected directly to the Kent transceiver. Straight lines here go into the Kent transceiver. So what this does is the moment those are shorted, in other words, 12 volts on off of the aqua bus port goes into the unit that only can support about 5 volts, that unit blows up. Replacing this unit likely fixed our problem. I'm going to do some more testing on this device once everything is assembled, make sure that uh, that not only the display works, but also I can connect to this unit, I can all the other ports work, like the network port works, the Wi-Fi works, all the other ones that I need to test, and this repair will be complete. Well, if you enjoyed this repair, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.